What is going on guys? Sterling with Handsome WP and in this video we're going to be taking a look at using Handsome Checkouts templates along with the colors. So there's going to be a you're going to have to play around with this a little bit to get it to look good for every single uh, branding color and branding type basically but we're going to jump into this real quick and just take a look at what I'm exact what I'm meaning exactly. So let's go to all checkouts. We'll open this in a new tab and then I'll come down to my Handsome Checkout and open that in a new tab. And then we're going to scroll down and we are selected right now on the multi product uh, on the multi product page. So let's just update. Most of these templates are going to look good out of the, the gate. So you'll notice that I have a dark logo. It's black and green. So if I were to put it on, say, a black background, um, that's not going to look real good. So let's update this. We'll come and take a look on the front end and then I'll show you what I mean by we have to kind of uh, customize the templates to fit with our branding. So here you can see. I have my handsome WP logo is over here in my content on this template. It's in my content. So if I come back over here and I set my background color to black per se, and then we come back and look at that again, it's not going to look very good because my logo is black and now the content is black. So uh, you can control the different elements on the template just with these color pickers and you can customize it to be however you want. Now, a couple of our templates do have dark headers by default. So let's select the two step template and then we are going to update. And if I come back to my handsome checkout and refresh, we're now going to be on our two step template, but we bump into that same issue where we have a dark gray header and I have a dark logo. Now, if you had a white logo, this is going to look great. Uh, but because I have a dark logo, it doesn't look, uh, it doesn't look amazing up there. So we're going to come back to our colors and I'm going to select my header color as white. And now if I update and I come back to the front end and refresh, you can see that my logo now shows up. Um, that white header just basically bleeds into my content. Now, I don't have to do that if I wanted to maybe have a dark, uh, because this is a contained uh, checkout, you know, all my, all my info is gonna be inside this box, which is always gonna be white. I can change the background color uh, of, of my content if I want. So let's come down and let's click on background color. Let's just make it black. And then we are gonna need to change our headline color because we don't want uh, this gray would show up, but it wouldn't show up very well. So let's make our headline color white because it's going to stand off against that that black background color. Now let's come to the front and refresh. And now you can see that I have a pretty nice looking checkout. I have a white header with a dark background. I have white uh, headlines and then I can customize still the color of my button if I want. And I can also customize the color of my footer. So let's say I just wanted to have my footer blend in with the rest of my background, I would just set that color to black. And then let's say we want to add a nice blue, uh, let's do blue uh, checkout button color. And the reason we have two colors here is so that we can actually set a gradient. So a gradient just means that it's going to change from one color to another color kind of gradually. So let's grab a little bit of a darker blue here. So here we've got like a nice dark blue and then here we've got a little bit of lighter blue. Let's even lighten that up a little more. And then let's update come back to our handsome checkout and refresh. And now you can see I have my nice gradient button where it starts light ends dark. My footer has now been completely blended into the background because I changed the color to the same as my background color. Now my logo is easily visible because I changed my header color to white and I'm able to just kind of easily customize and control each element of the different templates. Now, if I select, let's say I select the minimalist template, this is probably not gonna look very good. I might have to customize a few colors. So yeah, you can see my header is still set to white. You can see a lot of a lot of stuff is not, is not looking very good. So let's come back to our back end and let's fix this. We'll come to our background color, we'll set to white. Our button color, we can leave the same. Our footer color, let's just leave it black and see what happens there. Then if we refresh, you can see that uh, that we are looking much, much better. Now, one thing I will mention, if you do have a light logo, as you saw, I could change my header color. Say I had a white logo. I could change my header color to a dark color. It doesn't have to be black. It could be blue or whatever other color matches your branding. And then you would be able to have this nice box and your logo could be up here. And then you can also, uh, adjust the arrangement of your logo. So we have a left, we could center it if we wanted as well. So you're able to customize uh, logo placement as well as color and uh, each of the, the template settings. So let's turn off the header color again because that looks terrible with our logo. So now that we've updated that header color again and we've updated the arrangement of our logo, you can see our logo is loading directly in the middle. 
and everything is looking really, really good. So it is all dependent guys on the template you select and then your branding colors. And that means like your logo color and you, what button color you want and all that stuff. You're gonna have to tweak some of this stuff to make that look good. Now let's do one more. I'm gonna select the marketing pro template and then let's go take a look on the front end and see what that looks like with our current settings. So you can see, I don't really like that centered logo for our logo. I'm gonna move it back over to the left and update because everything is left aligned in this template. So now you can see my logo is gonna move over to the left here and let's try messing around with a few colors. Let's come down and let's select our background color and set it to a different color, let's set it to black. See what, see how that looks. So now you can see there is a body wrapper in this template, which is kind of nice. So it will keep all of our uh, checkout fields and everything contained within this box. We can set a custom background back here. And then we have our logo set in that white header because we, uh, we specified that our header color is white because we have a dark logo. Now, if we had a light logo, we could change that to black and update. And then if we refresh, uh, you can see that it would be swapped out. So you could have a light logo up here. You could center it or right align it. But you can see how easy it is to really update and customize and change uh, the entire look of your, your checkout. Not only can you switch between uh, multi-step and the multi-product, is a multi-step checkout too. So this is a two-step and this is a two-step as well. So we have two two-step templates and the rest of these are just one step. So it is very, very easy to customize your template and colors to match your branding. Um, and it may seem a little confusing at first, but I hope this video was helpful in you guys getting your checkout pages looking pristine. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment on this video down in the comment section below. Throw us a thumbs up and a like, we really appreciate it. And if you have any video suggestions, be sure to let us know and we can create, or if you have any questions about any of our, pl our plugins or products, let me know and I will get a video made for that. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you in the next video.